a new face. Who are you? Hi, I'm Mike, <laughs> um, and I'm from our Brantford Hyundai store. Yep, what do you do at Brantford Hyundai? Uh, I'm the marketing manager. Marketing manager, and Mike makes my life a little bit easier because he brought this beautiful 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz over to us and cleaned it too, thank you so much, so we could film it live for you guys today. Mike's also driven the Hyundai Santa Cruz for I think two weeks, right? Yes, two and weeks. how far is your drive? It's exactly 137 kilometers home. Each way? Yes. So two times a day. He spent a good amount of time in kilometers with it, so we are gonna be doing a test drive kind of overview, not owner's perspective, but driver's perspective video, and that will be posted next week, date to be announced. But for today's video, we're going live. We're gonna do a full walk around. I'm gonna talk about the specs, the exterior, the interior, everything, and we're also gonna answer your questions live. So that'll be towards the end of this video. If this is your first live, Thank you so much for joining us. If you're watching this in the future as a posted video and you'd like to join a future live, I'll show you how to do that. So you want to go to YouTube and then search up the Kia Hyundai channel. If it's 2 p.m. on any weekday, we go live for sure every Monday and Thursday, but we are doing more live. So this week we're going live every day. You'll see a live video. Today is the Hyundai Santa Cruz, of course. And you may have noticed that I put this listed as the ultimate or the tailgate party ready vehicle. And why is that? Oh, that's because uh, really um, a lot of fun you can have in the back of this vehicle. You know, with a family of four uh, over those two weeks, we really utilized it. So uh, we're excited to show you. Yes. All right, let's check it out. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Mike. There you are. And this is Mike's first time filming. So... Let's flip the camera over real quick. So the far left button there, okay, perfect. There we go. All right, so starting off with the front of the vehicle, I always like to point out the lights. So I'll have Mike show you the grill first before I turn everything on. And then I'll turn on our full LED headlights and fog lights. Give me one second. I'm just gonna run behind you. So the front grill has a mix of dark chrome accents. There's also some blacks in there. This exterior paint color, it's very striking. It's called California Tan, and I love it. So let's get those lights on. All right. So you can see very, very bright LEDs. The cutoff on them is fantastic. Don't mind that beep. And it's integrated into the grill. So when your lights are off, it looks like these are just chunks of your grill, like a regular Tucson. This Tucson is a very, very similar front end. And honestly, if you're looking at this vehicle and not checking out the side, Maybe it is a Tucson. That's why it's business in the front, party in the back, if you will. <laughs> Let's come around to the side. These are 20 inch machine finished alloy wheels and they're all black. So you'll notice another common theme on this vehicle is there's a lot of black accents. It also goes to your wheel wells. And if you take a closer look, you'll also notice that there's a little Santa Cruz icon integrated into the wheel well. And that's not the only one. There's obviously four of them on the wheels. Each one has one. We also have one in the back and we'll point that out later. For your mirrors, they are black covered. You have a turn signal indicator in there as well. And underneath, you have a camera. So on the left and right mirror, you have live feeds. If you have your turn signal on, it's gonna show you a live footage of what is in your blind spot. Amazing safety feature. It also works with your 360 camera, so that's gonna be your camera component to build the whole photo, if you will. What's new for 2023 are these beautiful, beautiful black side steps. So although this vehicle isn't too, too tall compared to some other trucks, it definitely makes getting in and out a lot easier. And you know, you can wipe some dirt off your shoe onto the side steps as well too. Last time I filmed, I was telling Mike before I filmed, um, I filmed this vehicle, I filmed in, in high heels. And when I tried to get into the bed, it was, it was interesting. So today we did not do that. <laughs> Gas cap is on the left side and it's just a push one. So as long as the vehicle is unlocked, it'll open. Back or rear wheel. The tail lights are really, really cool. I really like the design. And if you look very close into them, you'll see a little icon that says made in California, or designed in California. And that ties in, of course, with the entire design. This is truly a California designed vehicle. It's very adventure ready. This color reminds you of the sand, you know, the beach, take this car to the beach, whatever you'd like. It does have all wheel drive. So Hyundai's H-Track all wheel drive system. I'll show you the tunnel cover. So give me one second. I'm sorry if that was so noisy. Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> it is a retractable and lockable tunnel cover and it holds up to 220 pounds. So it's lightweight, but it's also durable. I mean, I'm not that strong and it's super easy for me to move. I don't know if you guys caught that, but that is a soft closed bed and it is adjustable. 
There's also a bunch of accessories available for the Santa Cruz. So there is, it almost looks like a cage. So you can have your tail bed, tailgate down <laughs> and still have all your stuff held in. Now, if you actually take a look inside, you'll see there are a bunch of tie downs, six to be exact. I'm gonna hop in using one of my many side steps. Each side step holds up to 440 pounds, so I'm good. All right, let's hop in. So you can see the tunnel cover retracts very nicely and it all gets stored in a canister. Under here, you got, of course, your composite um, bed material. So this is all washable and all the electronics are hidden in. So behind me in this little canister, there is a 115 volt charger. I'll open that up. You can see it there. But when this is closed, it is water shut or water sealed. So you don't have to worry about if you got everything all muddy, you can wipe everything off tie downs and it is on a rail system. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can adjust it. So whatever you're putting back here, you can make it custom fit, everything's secure. And one more thing I'll do is turn on the lights. We got very, very bright LED lights in the Santa Cruz and they are standard. So this specific trim is called the ultimate, but even if you're getting the entry level, you're getting these LED lights and you're getting all of these bed functions. And I know it seems like there's a lot in this vehicle. I'm almost out of breath talking about it. The party doesn't stop there. Underneath here, <laughs> we have another watertight storage compartment. So Mike, what do you use this for? Fishing. Fishing. So you can put your fish in there, you can put ice in there, you can put drinks in there, you can put, I don't know, whatever you want in there really. But one of the cool features about this is of course I mentioned it is watertight. If you are putting ice or any sort of liquid in there, it does have a drain plug. So super easy to use, also easy to clean because everything just goes out of there. And it is super easy to open. Like I mentioned, I am very much not a strong person and I can do anything in this vehicle. It's super accessible, super easy to get into. Of course, if you're buying a truck for towing, this isn't you know, your three quarter ton truck. This is a small adventure truck. That being said, it does have a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds when properly equipped. <laughs> I'll also show you guys the back. So all of these steps here, you got the corner steps, these higher ones, and then the center there. And that's where you'll see another little Santa Cruz. So many Santa Cruzes. Uh, we should start in the comments of Santa Cruz count. See how many there are. Um, we kind of showed the side of the taillights. I guess we'll show the back as well too. You guys have been looking at them for a while. They are LEDs, super bright and a super cool design. Hyundai badging on your tailgate release. You can also release the tailgate from the key fob right over there and you have remote start built in. Super, super cool. Um, I guess I should probably talk about the engine transmission. I didn't mention that. <laughs> I got so caught up with the party in the back. <laughs> so it's a 2.5 liter turbo four cylinder engine. Output is 281 horsepower, 311 pound foot of torque. Transmission is an eight type dual clutch, eight speed dual clutch transmission. There we go. Oh my gosh, what a mouthful. All right, we'll take a look inside. So follow me around. We'll take a look at the driver's side first. I'll also show you guys what Mike looks like in this vehicle because he is wearing a matching sweater. It wasn't even planned, but... Coincidence. Coincidence, exactly. <laughs> All right, before I hop in, if you want to take a quick look at the seats in the interior. Power driver seat, it is leather, heated, ventilated, and a heated steering wheel. So it's not just a rugged utility vehicle. It has a ton of comfort and safety features, and we'll talk a little bit about that once I hop inside. The sound system on this vehicle is a Bose sound system, so premium sound. If you like music, you'll love driving this. All your window controls here, express up and down for driver and passenger. Your unlock button and your mirror controls, that's all pretty standard. Let's talk about fun stuff. Over here, you have your brightness adjuster. You have a jellyfish launcher. Just kidding, that's your um, your bed lights. Your, uh, you know, the lights back there. It looks like a jellyfish. It looks like a jellyfish, that's what I'm saying. Um, how cool would that be? You have your traction control as well over there. Your light stock, so it does have automatic high beams and automatic headlights. I usually leave it in auto, but for today's sake, I'm leaving it on all the way so you guys can see our lights. Paddle shifter, so that's tied to your eight speed dual clutch transmission. It is a ton of fun to use paddle shifters in my opinion, especially in sport mode. If that's not your thing though, you can actually use the gear stock as well. If that's also not your thing, you can just let the vehicle change gears on its own. It can do that, no problem. On the left over here, we have all our Bluetooth controls and our media controls. So that's gonna be your volume, your Siri, your mode, if you wanna change to Bluetooth, to Sirius XM, whatever you like best. On the right, you have driver assistance. So I'll have Mike come a little closer and show you. Over here is your cruise control. You can set your speed here and then set your following distance right over there. 
to the left of that, it's always harder to film the Hyundai ones because they tend to use this kind of silver material. That's your steering assistance. So this vehicle has a camera located in the windshield just right behind your rear view mirror that monitors the lanes ahead of you and it will give you gentle steering input. You can turn that off if you don't like it. I know not everybody loves it, but I definitely recommend giving it a try. And side note, Mike mentioned to me before we filmed our Owen Sound Hyundai location has a couple of Santa Cruz's available. So if you're in the market for one, definitely check them out. We'll have the link in the description. Mike, do you want to come around? We'll take a look at everything else? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, before you hop in though, let's take a closer look at these seats and let me turn off the AC. I love how Hyundai integrates this little, I guess, styling element there. It doesn't hurt either. So we get a lot of questions about, depending on how you sit, does that dig into your neck? I don't find it does for me. Does it happen to you? No, not at all. I think nope. the design, it, it buckets in. Mm -hmm. um, I've never felt it in the hours that I've been in here. Yeah, in <laughs> the multiple hours, right? I've driven this vehicle a couple times now. I have never driven it for too, too long, but I have found these seats are so comfy and it's still very visible. I've driven quite a few trucks. I know I may not look like I do, but um, it's so easy to see out of because it's not a huge truck. And that also means it's not horrible on fuel. So you averaged around, did you say eight kilometers? Or liters yeah. per hundred kilometers. Yeah. I, I did under eight with a very light foot. With a very light foot. Of course, you can see worse numbers depending on how you drive. <laughs> now, Mike, come on in. <laughs> I really like Hyundai does this in a couple of their vehicles. This dash looks stunning to me because it actually looks like the screen is built into the system. Some vehicles, they kind of have an overhead screen that looks like, you know, they just slapped it on. Like they built the car and then, oh crap, we forgot the screen. So they threw it on there. <laughs> this one looks like it was built into the vehicle, which is really nice. It's very seamless, super easy to use. You have navigation built in. This vehicle does have Sirius XM. Someone was listening to hip hop. I guess it was you, Mike. Yes. <laughs> map over there and you can project it or not project it. You could have your map as a full screen option rather than having that little dash of Sirius XM. You can also connect your phone to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which I love. I love having my text messages read out to me and just knowing whenever someone's calling me, seeing it right there. That being said, you still have regular Bluetooth, so you can have just that connected, whatever's best for you. All your navigation, not navigation, climate control is built over here. It is dual zone climate as well, so your passenger can have a different temperature. You have all your regular options, plus a diffuse option, which is super cool. So fan speed direction, or you can use automatic where it just sets it to whatever temperature and keeps it there. It's not no playing around with the temperature. Down here, you have your USB. This one's for media transmitting. So you can actually use that one to use your uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You have a 12 volt under here, wireless charge pad down there, and another USB for charging. Over here, you got your cup holders. So two little cup holders. If you buy a Santa Cruz, it'll come with a key in one of the cup holders usually usually where we put them and then over here this is very different than what I'm used to with Kia is your drive and terrain mode so you'll press this to switch between drive and terrain but to actually select which mode you want you use this little knob here so for your terrain mode you have snow mud and sand and each will perform differently for your vehicle and then I'm gonna press it down to drive and now we have normal sport and smart and check out those gauge clusters I love the change honestly I love driving in sport mode, period, just because the way it performs, but I might just do it because I like those clusters better. Just kidding, you can change it manually to be whatever you want. Okay, over here we have auto hold, which holds you at a stop until you hit the gas. Um, it's great for red lights, like long busy intersections because you can just hang out at the red light or hang out at the drive-through until you're ready to go again. Electronic parking brake to the right of that, and then your parking camera. So I can press that, and now check this out. This will blow your mind. We got our rear view camera here and then a full top down 360 view. So that uses your side cameras, your front camera and your rear camera to give you one big image of everything that's around you. It looks a little funky there because Mike's door is open, <laughs> but if it was closed, it would look, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> He's like ready to change it. You can also zoom in and get a little closer look and it's truly a Santa Cruz. Look, you got a bed over there and everything. All right, now we'll head back to the home screen. Before we finish off with the front seats, I want to show you guys this over here. So you have your ventilated seats for driver and passenger. Driver, of course, on the left, passenger on the right. And you have three different levels for each. So three different levels for ventilated, three different levels for heated. One level for your heated steering wheel, but one level's fine because honestly, this baby warms up very quickly. <laughs> oh, our camera is freaking out. There we go. Let's see if that's better. Okay, <laughs> perfect. There we go. All right. 
Um, so heated steering wheel, and I should also probably talk about the styling of the wheel. I love this steering wheel. If I could rip this out and put it in my car, I would. This handle here makes driving so much fun. Um, I'm so tempted to just, you know, steer like that. I know it's not completely safe, but it's super ergonomical. Is that what you say? Yeah, yeah I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It's for a steering wheel, it is very, very nice. And one more thing before we head to the back. Up here, we got a beautiful sunroof. And of course it opens just like that. Or you can have it tilted, whatever's best for you. That's not the only extra window in this vehicle. In the very back, we do have that, what's the proper word for it? Just got a rear window. That one is manual, so you would have to either reach back there yourself or get one of your rear passengers to open it up for you. Now, let's check out the back seats. Turn this off. All right, so I'm not gonna hop in yet because I wanna show you guys this. I have one of our seats folded up to show you what's underneath. We have cargo areas underneath the seats. Is that not so cool? I think it's so cool. These, of course, fold down so you can split them up. You can have these two up or just this one up. If you got no kids or no one sitting in the back, have everything up and then you got tons of room for all your things. I'll move over to the center. Oh, or Mike's gonna yeah, open it up. Yeah, let's check this one out. Here we go. Know this for sure. <laughs> That's your, um, toolkit for your spare tire. Spare tire is underneath the vehicle. So I'm not gonna show you that today, but it is there. <laughs> and then Mike, if you don't mind putting the seat back down, I'll put this one down. Just gonna pull this is it harder to here? with one hand? Oh, you no, can do it with yeah. one hand, it's that easy. So let's hop in. Tons of leg room. So this is how I would normally drive. I'm not the tallest person, but I'm also, I don't sit too close to the wheel. I got a good amount of leg room here and there are amenities back here. So rear vents for one. And then two USBs at the very bottom here. Great, if you got lots of rear passengers, they can always charge their phones. You got storage pockets. So these are the, net, I wanna say mesh, but they're net. And then up here, we have beautiful LED lighting. So it doesn't look too bright during the day, but at nighttime, oh my goodness, you can see everything. If you dropped your phone, lost your phone, you're gonna find it, because that light is so bright. All right, <laughs> in the center here, this, is an, um, this one's not a cup holder, but I'll show you guys how to open this up. Little button. Push it and it's super easy to use. It's great if you have dogs too, because if they want, they can you know, get some more fresh air. Yeah. Or kids, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna say that, I have a dog, and <laughs> this is the safest way for him to, uh, to get his nose out there. Yeah, because he's definitely not fitting out of there. <laughs> no. Um, that's about it for the back seats. I guess I should show on the door handles, you do have a cup holder, because there, of course, is no cup holder in the center console. And that's about it, your window controls, your actual door handle. Sit for the back. All, honestly, the party is in the back back. That's where everything is. And I should also mention that everything I talked about in the bed is standard on all trims of the Santa Cruz. So you don't have to go to the ultimate to get LED lighting in your bed. You don't have to do that to get a tunnel cover either or the 5,000 pounds strength capacity. It's all standard, which is phenomenal. All right, I guess we'll answer some questions. This is Mike's very first live, so we'll see how he does too. Let's go. <laughs> so if I know enough. Yes. <laughs> My cat will 100% escape out of that window. That's the first question I saw, or I guess I should say statement. All right, let me put this down. I'm sorry if that was rough on the ears, guys. There we go. All right, what trims are there? There's only two trims now, right? Yes. And they're essential? Yes, and then there's the ultimate too as well, which is what you saw. Yep, it's ultimate's what we're filming and essential is the entry level. Um, do you know what the timeline roughly is for this vehicle to order? It's five months. Five months, okay. But like we said, um, our store up north, Owen mm -hmm. Sound, uh, they have a couple units, right? So you guys can easily uh, click on the link below and we can put you in contact with somebody there. Mm -hmm. Um, Gabby, do you ever get tired of showcasing vehicles? No, because honestly, I find them all exciting. And I think my favorite part is driving them because they're all so, so different. And even though this one may share an engine transmission as some of our other vehicles, the actual, I guess, execution of it is so, so different. <laughs> I really, really uh, enjoy just seeing everything and comparing them too, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Gabby, is it known if this model will be released in Europe in 2023 or can it be imported? I know we definitely can't sell outside of Canada, so I can't import it for you. Um, I don't know if it's gonna get released to the Europe market. Do you know? No, not no? a clue on that. Not a clue? Um, it's fingers crossed, right? Mm -hmm. 
Um, is this paint color free or is it a premium add-on? Do you? That's a good question. Something I'd have to get back to you on. Yeah. I know that this year they've released um, a, a few nice kind of, I don't know what I would call it. Like it's like a kind of like a matte or pastel, mm -hmm. like a pastel color. So they have, I mean, the California sand, they have a beautiful one in, in light blue. I don't know the exact name guys, sorry. Um, <laughs> and a green one too as well. Um, so far, the only change from 2022 to 2023 is the addition of side steps. Yes, and the wheels. Sorry, I, I showed you guys the wheels, but I didn't mention that they're new. So the design is different. Um, Gabby, please, what is your surname? Pereira. <laughs> um, Gabby, is that white card, what is that white card on the side? It's a Honda Accord, so I actually had them clean it up and pull it in for me so I can film that as part of our used cars. We are a Kia dealership, but we do have a fleet of used cars as well for sale. Does the Santa Cruz have the remote feature where you can move the car forward and backwards? It does not, unfortunately. So it does not have the remote smart park assist. Can you review a Hyundai Tucson 2023 Ultimate? If I can get my hands on one. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could bring one by. Yeah, we're just getting a whole new fleet of our 2023s. Um, so I can get one very soon. Stay Perfect. tuned on that. Yes. <laughs> um, the 2022 Limited didn't have remote parking. Yeah, no, none of them have it for the Santa Cruz, unfortunately. Where's Mark? So if you may have missed a couple other videos, Mark was a co-op student, so his term is over with us. We miss him dearly. I know I miss him a lot because he did a lot of editing and I'm not great at editing. <laughs> and because he was great anyway. Um, does Kia come with something similar? No, so Hyundai doesn't have a van, like the Kia has the Carnival. We don't have a Santa Cruz. So some of our cars, a lot of them are sister cars, but some of them we just don't have completely. Like we don't have a Veloster equivalent. Yeah, but that's discontinued now. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> that is very much true. Um, Grandpa Pat. Grandpa Pat is actually right there. I don't know if he wants what to come back. What a coincidence. By. He's literally about to walk in. This is the easiest entrance to his office. So he's about to walk in. They're asking about you. Literally when you peeked in. Here he is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. How does it feel to be a grandpa? Uh, it's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hold my granddaughter for the first time uh, this morning and, uh, you know, I was struggling with the fact that I'm getting old and it doesn't matter once you hold the little darling, it just is awesome. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. So welcome everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. All right. Now I guess we can answer some more questions. Um, does the 2023 Sorento SX Prestige all wheel drive power remote smart park assist? So we don't get the Prestige here in Canada. Our equivalent would be the SX. And so far what we know, the 2023 does not have it. Um, Grand Pat, once a dad, always a dad. Yes. <laughs> Can you do a test drive on an EV, Kia EV6 long range? We have done one. It was a GT Line 2. However, it is the same um, motor as the long range all wheel drive. Is there a way to add roof rails or roof mounts to a flat roof Sorento? I'm sure you can get the window clip. Like if not through, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're not talking manufacturer, you can always buy obviously a universal kit. Mm -hmm. um, I've used them in the past. I've used them on a Honda Civic <laughs> in the past. Um, yeah, you just have to make sure you install it properly or get someone to do it for you. Mm -hmm. um, Gabby Pereira, Portuguese or Latina? Portuguese. <laughs> do, how did the universal kits work? I'll, I'll let you get into that. Yeah, so um, there's a couple. I mean, if you do your research, it depends on what you want. Universal kits usually will work through your window. So what will happen is it will come with a strap, and then you'll have to actually open your window, strap it in from the inside. So it's not really pleasing uh, to the eye to be in the car and kind of see a strap go across the roof, especially if the roof curves up or, or caves upwards. So, I mean, you got to sacrifice some of that. But, I mean, if you're looking, right, for the functionality, or the use of it, I mean, it's a no-brainer, right, mm -hmm. uh, for, for just the convenience. Uh, but there's a few on the market. So I suggest you do your research, obviously look at the reviews, um, and try and get one that's similar to the vehicle you're driving, uh, just so that there's not any issues. Um, I saw a question, how long is the bed? It's a four-foot bed. Let's see. Mm, your new promotion, Gabby, you must like it. I do like it. It's a lot of fun. I was um, talking to a customer earlier today. I'm like, it's really nice to focus on one thing now. <laughs> I love doing sales and I love, of course, doing media, but this might be a Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, glad to see you're doing some Hyundai products as well. Yes. So our, I'll, I guess we can talk about our goals a little bit. So my plan is to do three Kias a week and two Hyundais. 
And most of those videos will probably be lives just because it's a little bit easier. And honestly, I love the engagement with you guys, just being able to answer your questions in real time. And it feels like a, a big party. I love it. Um, <laughs> and I know you guys like the lives too. Speaking of, if you like our lives and you want more of them, leave a like on this video. Um, it, so yeah, two Hyundais, three Kias a week, hopefully. Let's see. If we get anything crazy exciting for Kia or something crazy exciting for Hyundai too, I mean, those numbers could change. Like if there's a brand new Hyundai that just oh, came yeah. out and we not got to do tons of content on it, we might do more videos on Hyundai that week. Um, my cat will 100% escape out of that window. Don't put your cat in the Santa Cruz then. <laughs> Um, let's see, do you have to unlock the parking brake or does it unlock when you put it in drive? So if you manually put the brake up, it'll, you'll have to do it manually. But I've noticed that if it automatically puts it on, like if you're parking on an incline or if you had your auto hold on, it'll release um, itself. Um, keep an eye on Gabby Pat, she's talking about ripping the steering wheel out. <laughs> you, I mean, guys, I thought you were on my side. Um, let's see, is this color, oh, I already answered that one. Don't like the color, baby poop brown. I'd say it's more of a sand, but I mean, color is so subjective, right? Like to the customer, um, regardless, the Santa Cruz comes in a bunch of cool colors. This one's very, very cool though. It's growing on, well, it's literally on me. It's I mean, literally growing on you. Is this baby poop brown then? I don't know. Are you saying you don't like his outfit? <laughs> is that the problem? Um, let's see, Gabby is extra cheery today. I guess, yeah. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Um, hi, gonna come in today to pick up my Santa Fe. I'm coming in today to pick up my Santa Fe, can't we? Are you coming to our Brantford Hyundai store? Question mark. Um, I was just gonna say I love the color. Thank you, Keenan. The crazy exciting will be when the EV6 and EV9 are open for orders. I agree with you there. Don't know when that'll be, but we're waiting for that. Um, can you do a review on the entry level Hyundai Elantra 2023 or 22? Do you think, do you guys have any of those right now? Hmm. Entry level, you know what? I'll check and if we do, I'll get one over right away for sure. Hmm. Awesome. Oh, I'm not at the Brantford Hyundai location. <laughs> Someone said, I'll bring you a coffee, double, double. <laughs> I think it's because we have that Hyundai sign up there. Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> so that is also new for us. Um, we just purchased, they're kind of blocks that we put on. It's not permanent, but we take them off when we're filming a Kia. Put them on when we're doing a Hyundai. I don't put it on, I can't reach, but someone does. Gabby looks Dominican, okay. Um, any idea what the price would be if I brought it to a dealer to get the racks on there for um, the roof racks? Hmm, are you talking about manufacturer roof racks or custom universal ones? Uh, I mean, that depends on the vehicle, that depends on you know, the type of racks you're going to get, that depends if it's possible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it'd be great if, you know, it's, if the best route is just to obviously shop around, right? Ask the dealership, um, depending on what car you have, right? And uh, what type of roof racks you want, because obviously there's different levels. Depends what you want to put up there. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a great comment. Are the photos of the EV9 online concept? If so, when can we expect actual photos of the production model to come out? No, there are real photos of the EV9 out already. Do you have any Ionic 5 Limiteds in stock? No. <laughs> no. No, Ionic 5 is, um, is really hard to get, right? Um, mm -hmm. We have one you can test drive. <laughs> yeah, same with our Kia dealership. So we have an EV6 to test drive, but these vehicles are, it's not even a real order at this point. It's kind of a pre-order, so a placeholder in line for when ordering does open. Um, how many trims are on the 2023 Hyundai Tucson? Off the top of my head, yeah. I have no clue, because if you're including hybrids as well, too, there's a lot. <laughs> um, but I can get back to you guys in the comments for that. How much does it cost for a tailgate? Do you mean the bed extender or the tailgate itself? Because either way, I don't have the answer. <laughs> yeah, there's different options. I mean, if you're talking about that, um, yeah, kind of like that cage that goes around or just an extension, I mean, there's various prices, right? Mm -hmm. If we go manufacture or not. But again, you know, we would be happy to look into those details depending on what your needs are. Just give us a shout. Um, is the model behind only available stateside first time I've ever seen them? Stateside as in like Canada? As in Canada? As in Canada? Yes. I believe it's available in the US as well too. Yes. It is. Um, other markets I'm not too sure about. How are the headlights on the Santa Cruz since they seem kind of low? So your headlights, 
I mean, they're not that low, I don't find. Um, they're very, very bright, and the cutoff yes. is super sharp. So I haven't driven it too much at night, but I know your drive home is far, and it gets dark. Yeah, I so. mean, it's <laughs> it's very well lit. Between this, you know, the Tucson, I think they're, you know, it's, it's similar front. I, it's, I would say, honestly, I'm going to say it, is that it seems a lot more brighter than the Santa Fe, which I'm currently driving right now. Mm -hmm. uh, no issues there. It's uh, beyond bright. I mean, if you're going from a car that's not as bright or something about two years older, you're going to notice this. Um, let's see. The thumbnail is always on point. Gabby is photogenic, which helps. Thank you. <laughs> um, Brant Hyundai says hi. Oh, so someone from Brand Hyundai is watching. Thanks for the answer. I'm in a Tacoma now. Um, honestly, I was talking a little bit about this earlier. I always thought if I were to buy a truck, I would get a Tacoma until the Santa Cruz came. And I fell in love with this truck. It is so nice. Um, Gavi needs a vacation and to get some sun. Not opposed. <laughs> Um, any news on the 2023 Sorrento PHEV? Still waiting to see one at the dealership. We do have a demo version or a demo model to showcase, so you can test drive that. Um, you can take a look at it. We can talk about pricing. But it is an order-only vehicle, and turnaround time is about a year and a half for that vehicle. Um, Gabby for mayor of Brantford in 2024. <laughs> that is a movement I can get behind. And a raise, too. <laughs> Will Olivia be in future videos? Yes. Yes. yes when? Maybe tomorrow, maybe as early as tomorrow. Yes, and tomorrow, if Olivia is available, we will be live, so you can answer or ask Olivia questions live. Um, I think Charlotte should do a live reveal of her new model. <laughs> I think she might need some rest first. Um, 2.5 liter engine, how does it compare to the Kia K5 GT engine? It is the same engine. So this 2.5 is the 2.5 turbo. It's not um, just a straight 2.5. Um, I know it's the same. Does it feel just as peppy? I find it just as peppy. Of course, the feel is going to be a little bit different driving a truck than driving a low car, but it feels very sporty, especially when you throw in a sport mode. Um, how? What's your number? I, I can't give you my number, but I can give the dealership number if you want to buy a Kia. <laughs> do, do you have any of the Nero PHEVs? And if not, what's the wait time around for the highest tier? So the Nero plug-in hybrid hasn't even hit Canada yet. So we don't have timeline on it and we don't have one to show at this point. However, we have already been taking um, pre-orders or deposits for a pre-order when they do start to arrive. What's the name of Charlotte's baby? So Pat revealed this yesterday, but it's Geneva. And a funny story, that one live where we had everyone guess her name, no one got it right. But when the live was over, I was spitballing a bunch of names with the letter G to Charlotte. And Pat's office is right behind where we film, so he would have heard me. And I shouted out Geneva. And she no. Said, yeah. <laughs> she said, she said, yes, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I guessed it. Do you have any night videos so we can see how these vehicles look at night? We do have a couple of night videos. We've done the EV6, the Stinger. We don't have one on the Santa Cruz, but thanks for the video idea. Yeah, it's a good idea, actually. <laughs> because with the LEDs, I mean, it, it changes the whole look of the car. So yeah. uh, definitely great idea, and uh, we should do more of those. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Are there more hybrid, plug-in hybrid EV options for Kia than Hyundai? So let's see. <laughs> we got, there's so many. There is the Kia Nero, the Kia Soul EV, the Kia Sorento, which comes in hybrid and plug-in hybrid. There's the Kia Sportage hybrid, plug-in hybrid. The answer hybrid. is yes at this point. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> um, did Charlotte name her baby Geneva after the Geneva Auto Show? I'm going to say yes. But no, <laughs> I want to say yes, but no. <laughs> um, but however, she is nicknaming her baby Evie. So EV6 is close. We sell EVs. I don't know. When she gets older, we'll try to get her to work for us. Yes. So <laughs> she can be like, this is your EV specialist. Um, I named my kid Detroit. Okay. How do you feel? How do you guys feel about the engine V6 on the Telluride and the Palisade? I love it. I love, oh, the I love the Palisade. The Palisade, yeah. it's, I, that's another uh, vehicle I've driven for two weeks. Uh, yeah, definitely it's got some kick. You know what? If you're light foot too as well, you could get some good fuel efficiency out of it. But mm -hmm. same as any other of the vehicles, a lot of great options, right? To have what type of drive you want to, and obviously what type of power to push. But yeah, definitely not something, you know, you don't notice yeah. is what I would say. Is the Sorrento meant for a guy or a girl? 
it's meant for whoever wants a Kia Sorento. So it's a fantastic vehicle. Um, why do you not do your car tour vids in 4K? So when we're pre-filming, meaning it's not a live video, we do, or we do it in the highest quality we can. But for our live videos, unfortunately, the quality is heavily dependent on what our network's like, and sometimes our network is not great, and that's where um, our lives will kind of fuzz out or not be as sharp. So hang in there. If it's fuzzy right now, hang in there. It might get better in a couple seconds. Um, what's your MySpace? Don't use MySpace. <laughs> Um, does the Tucson have a hybrid version? Yes, it does. And last question I'll answer before we finish this off. What is the towing capacity? So it is 5,000 pounds, and it's important to mention that is when properly equipped with trailer brakes. All right, guys. Well, this video will be posted as a regular video, so if you have any future questions, please leave them below in the comments. Stay tuned for next week's video of our actual test drive. Mike will talk a little bit about what his experience was like when he had this vehicle. Um, he got to have some great moments with his family in this car, yes. fishing trips, um, and it really, uh, it really works. I don't know. It's an adventure pickup truck that you could truly use in everyday life. Um, that being said, if a Hyundai or Kia is something you guys are considering or interested in, we will have links in our description where you can get in touch with our Hyundai stores or our Kia store, where we're at right now. And they'd be happy to help you out and treat you like family. Thank you so much, guys.